On today's Most Wanted, we're traveling to the Southern Hemisphere to see how the rest of our crew does when they're put in front of the camera. Get some grub. Look at this jar. Good job, man. We've got, we've got quite a few blue, blue wildebeest over here. Mossy Oak presents Scentblocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scentblocker, the advantage of intelligence. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Cuddyback, designed in the USA with quarter second trigger speed. And Tree Spider, the new world of tree stand safety. Last year we had a chance to take the newest member of the Most Wanted crew to South Africa. Unfortunately, Nicole's part of the trip, it wasn't starting off very well. Let's hold my bags right here. They are not, they are not yet on here. They're not yet. No bags. What do you mean? She said the word missing and I just smiled. <laughs> I said missing doesn't sound good. And then she said something about praying to all the gods. So at that point, I said I'd check back. <laughs> she goes, I don't want to be the person on film when your bags don't show up. And I said, it's OK. I'm still smiling at this point. We're OK. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> we also had a whole bunch of good friends along, each one looking forward to a great adventure. I just want to make it to a place we're going safely <laughs> with all our bags and gear and cameras and personal items. Where's your bouquet? I don't know. <laughs> That's not good. That's wrong answer. <laughs> Mine's here. Why am I laughing? This isn't funny. I guess I'm trying to find the humor in this. But it all worked out in the end. By the time we met up with Johnny and got to the lodge, things were looking up. Uncle Bob, you guys can head inside there. Nicole, all the ladies. <laughs> Trev, go ahead and climb into the vehicle. We're here. This is home. At least for the next seven days. I'm good with that. This room is awesome. Look at this place. I <laughs> just everything about it. The doors, the floor, everything. It smells awesome in here. This bathroom's pretty darn cool. Wow. This place rocks. Ready to roll. First day to go out and hunt. We drove yesterday, so today will be our first day in South Africa. And I'm very excited. All right, where are we headed? I need to find myself a truck to jump in. What? 
Scent Locker Most Wanted is brought to you by Matthews, catch us if you can, and Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Just after nine o'clock, we haven't seen anything. This area is a lot different than before. This is much more open. The other day we had pockets that you could see through. See them coming from an open area. This is very, just very open, which is good because it gives us the ability to see them coming in. But I wonder if it's going to make the animals a little bit more cautious because it's so open. The birds are fine with it. You know, the whole crew here at Most Wanted are avid hunters, and that includes the guys behind the camera. Let me tell you, most of the time, they're chomping at the bit to put the camera down and pick up a bow or a rifle. But every once in a while, we go to somewhere special, and everything lines up just perfectly, and they get their shot. Well, this morning started out what I thought was going to be just like every other morning we've been there. The only difference today was Larry said, hey, grab the gun, Josh, and give me the camera. Now, Liam, he was telling us about this one particular stag we were hoping to find that morning, and eventually we did. A bush, so we might sneak down here and creep over and see if we can get a bit of, bit of a look at it, maybe a shot. I'm like a plane. By the time I had gotten set up, Liam had made his way back. But the bad news, that stag, well, he was gone. There's always this afternoon. Locker Most Wanted has been brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scent Locker Most Wanted is brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Deer nutrition is all we do. And S4 Gear, meeting the demands of nature and those who tame it. 
You know, I've been driving a Ford F-150 with a 3.5 EcoBoost since 2011. I now have 210,000 miles on this one. I haven't had any problems. My suspension has held up. I've gotten 70,000 miles out of three sets of tires on this thing. But you know, Ford has totally redesigned the F-150 for 2015. So let's take a look at some of those changes. Now besides the new appearance, today's F-150 is stronger and lighter than ever by up to 700 pounds. It still delivers the best in class maximum towing and payload. Working and towing is made easier for you with lots of new technology, helping you get your trailer connected faster and easier with this new 360 degree split view screen. Also, the new F-150 with four different engine selections will work for everybody. You know, we've been doing outdoor television for 20 years now, and we've seen a lot of changes, just like in the new F-150. But one thing that hasn't changed is the fact that the Ford F-150 has been the best-selling truck in America for 38 years running now. So if you get a chance, get into your nearest quality Ford dealer and have a look. And tell them, Bob and Larry sent you. thing about being a camera guy is we get to travel all over the place and do stuff and um, I knew that uh, last year that Bob and Josh went over to the hunt with Shane Quinn in New Zealand and uh, I'd always kind of had a little built up you know jealousy in me for those guys because that's one of my all-time destinations that I've always dreamed about going and just never really thought it was going to be a possibility for me. Then Dr. Saunders he said that he had wanted to go over there I put him in touch with Bob and uh, he said they was taking a group of guys over there and so when Bob called me out of the blue and just said, hey, you know, we think we've got to figure it out so that you guys, you can get you, get you over to New Zealand uh, to film some hunts and stuff for us, I was just completely, completely blown away just by the opportunity and be able to, to travel there and to get to see that, you know, culture and get to see everything. Yeah, this is wild. This is like the, the last thing I thought I was going to be doing coming here. It's a cool thing about being a camera guy is you kind of get to live vicariously to these guys and get to do things that you never really you know, think that you'll get a chance to do. We had been there for a week with Shane already, and um, there was this one particular stag that had just caused just all kinds of trouble that whole first week. You know, running other bulls out, and you can see by, you know, Larry's hunt and stuff, that it was just, he was a pain in the butt. And he was just really causing a problem for, for everybody. A little bit to me that uh, Glenn and Steve had kind of got together and got put a game plan together. They was, uh, they had had enough of dealing with this stag, and, they approached me wanting to know if I would uh, be willing to, to shoot this stag for more or less just to help you know other guys out. And so when Glenn handed me the rifle and um, he grabbed the video camera and said, "Man, let's do this!" and there we took off. You know, we probably did a couple hundred yards of stalking, you know, on our hands and knees, and got down in the ravine and popped back up. And you know, there was a stag that you know almost everybody had a personal vendetta on. Down under. 
Congratulations. Semplocker Most Wanted has been brought to you by IQ. Center the dot for the perfect shot. Block Vault. Get locked in. And Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Scent Locker Most Wanted is brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Premier Farm Realty Group, own a slice of America's heartland. Nocturnal Lighted Knox, switch on accuracy. Cuddyback, designed in the USA with quarter second trigger speed. And Gilbert's Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Scent Locker Most Wanted. My next morning of hunting, we started out up high and just glass and tried to find this same particular stag. Well, after glassing a while, Scotty eventually did see the stag. Well, the way the terrain is laid out, Scotty thought if we went down and come back up, there's a group of trees we can possibly get set up in if we got into position without all these other animals seeing us. Well, it was cool enough just to be in New Zealand for this trip, but to go home with a red stag that I can put on my wall and have memories and talk about and share my experience with everybody, well, that was definitely the icing on the cake. He went down, hit the ground, right in this area. I'm sure we won't have a hard time finding him. I'm, I'm, I'm confident with, with the shot. Scott's confident with the shot. In fact, Scott probably already found him. So maybe we should just find Scott. Here's some blood. Okay. I never would have thought this would have been my experience in South Africa. I knew it was gonna be good, but... <laughs> I, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't think I'd have this many animals. We saw him go down and then go a little bit. He should be right in here. Yeah. Let's go. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Now we'll ask Scott. I think that was a pretty good shot. We'll see what Scott says. You don't have to blood trail them when you shoot them dead in the heart like that. Look at. I thought you would say that was a good shot. <laughs> that was awesome. Look at this. Oh, he's just he's big. big. Yeah, he's just big. He's wow, he's, he's heavy. heavy. He's heavy, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Oh, look at these ears. They're, uh, they're like the most unique animal, I think, in Africa. Everything else has stripes and collars. These are very plain, but they have this heavy, thick hair. But yet, even in the summer, they have this heavy, thick hair, and it keeps them warm and it keeps them cool. It's a, they're the strangest animal you've ever seen, but they are amazing. Wow, talk about down to the wire. <laughs> yes. I mean, you look at this guy, and yeah. I mean, that was down to the wire. I know we were in there, and I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was losing patience. I was so anxious. I was so anxious and just nervous. Yeah, We've, we talked about that in the blind. Those cows had to come early, and then these cows kept coming. They said it was a good area. You it said was, there was going to be a buck that came in. I was, was like, just, yeah, was yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then they came, they all came. And it's funny, I'm looking here at the sunset. It's just, it, it's just beautiful. Just look at the sky. Look where you are here in Africa. You look out and see the African trees. Sunset. Yep, it is uh, quite a pleasure. Yeah, nice job, very good shot. You did super well. Coming to South Africa, the water buck was on my most wanted list. I'm Nicole McLean. We'll see you next week on Set Blocker's Most Wanted.